it's it's better than I imagined at this moment for sure and I've been planning my retirement fight I mean one year one year and a half ago and at one point I said it's time it's I, I, I think I did enough I'm a, I'm a little bit tired of doing to do all the train camp all the pressure and all these things who involve the the, the, the fighter so I came decide to you know I decided to to do my last fight and it was amazing it was great the time when I when I put my gloves when I left my like my gloves inside the octagon was a of course a, a movie passing on my, on my my head since the beginning all my training since the beginning that I never you know uh, since then I never imagined be part of the UFC fighter and then I'm signing I'm doing my first fight you know I'm fighting again and again and again doing the, the training camp all over the the places all over the, the, the time meeting a, lo uh, a lot of places a lot of people you know this is it was amazing for me for sure I'm very proud of my my career and oh I'm very thanks thanks God for you know giving the, the opportunity to be part of 1% of the human race who can work you know with real with what a uh, real love you know and I did it this this part of my, my life was amazing and I hope my next journey be so amazing like that. I remember you had said that you weren't putting any particular pressure on a win or a loss yeah. just because it was your retirement yeah. fight, but then you got the win. How does it feel yeah. to go out for winning? It was was great for me. I didn't put a lot of pressure on me or my shoulder of course. Of course that I you know, of course that I charmed me every time and push me every time. But I said, no, let's relax more, enjoy the time. It's your last fight. Just enjoy, enjoy all the moments. It's exactly what I did. Was it tougher than, than you expected the, the fight against Homer? Sure, sure. He's a really tough fighter. And I've been watching and studying his, his fight for a long time. So actually, before I come to the, to the arena, I was watching his fights again, talking with Pedro and, and Andrea. Every time, you know, see what side he walks more, uh, what is his his strong punch, his strong kicks, and everything. Of course, he's a really, really tough fighter. He has an amazing career, and all of what I did is, you know, believe in myself, believe in my game, and follow the instructions of my my corners. You were a little tested in the fight. Do you think that makes it, you know, taste a little sweeter that you actually got to to go out on your shield and make it a war? Yeah, sure, sure. I, I knew that, that this, this fight will be a, a, a war, you know, especially because Hector, I, I've been watching all his fight. No one beat him easy like this, you know. He every time, you know, give his give the his opponent some, you know, some work to do and couldn't be different for me. So but I did them my homework. What happened with with, with your knee? I don't know yet, but <laughs> I hope it's I hope it's not, you know, uh, too much, but you know, I'm I'm happy. I will drink a beer a little bit, and then we we will so we will so. Was it a kick? Or it's just a kick, just a kick, yeah. Nothing else, just a kick. Probably is the I don't know in English the hematoma, you know, bruises. Bruises. Probably is just the bruises. You did say, talk about the new journey that you're beginning. So what's that? What do you have planned next? Um, you know, stay more with my family, get more focus in my gym. My academy in uh, Niterói, Nova União Niterói, and enjoy more. Pass my my knowledge now to my students, you know, and learn, learn, learn every time more, you know, with my students, with my with my training partners, you know, the the the, the learning never stops.